Good evening. Welcome to my laboratory. What you're looking at there is another uh, ignition coil driver. This one is uh, a, a little bit different. Um, it uses... I'm uh, looking for a pointer. <laughs> Sorry about that. It uses a uh, CD4093 um, quad Schmidt trigger NAND gate chip. This is a very useful TTL chip. The, each gate has two inputs and the output of the chip goes low if both inputs are high. And if both inputs are low, the output of the chip goes high. And uh, so, at any rate, both of the uh, b both of the inputs to the chip have to be um, anded, and then the result of that is inverted for the output of each individual gate. And it's a Schmidt trigger chip, so it pr it can be uh, made to produce nice, clean, square pulses, even if the input uh, voltages are kind of varying very slowly and jittery. Um, so. Uh, one of the gates, one of the inputs to one of the gates is configured as an oscillator using a timing resistor uh, variable uh, trim pot timing resistor and a timing capacitor uh, and the other input to that same gate is on a push button so that when I want the oscillator to oscillate I simply push the push button uh, so the power can be on uh, and the chip is sitting there waiting to begin actually oscillating or rather to enable the input or the, enable the output for it, the oscillation to proceed uh, and then the uh, output of that gate is fed into both inputs of another gate simply to invert the signal again and then that's used to drive the gate input of, um, of an IRF 530 MOSFET that's just a 530 in there and there's a little diode and resistor on the gate going from there to the negative rail uh, and that's a, a, a pull down and pulse shaping network that helps clean up the pulse to the gate okay and then the MOSFET itself is as usual switching the full power supply voltage uh, through the ignition coil um, and then this is an ultra fast diode an MUR480 diode um, reverse biased from drain to gate or drain to source to uh, absorb the back spike uh, from the from the um, from the coil when well, the coil is shut off so um, oh I've also down, down here I've put in a 7818 uh, uh, voltage regulator and that provides uh, a uh, maximum voltage of 18 volts to power the chip and the MOSFET gate even if I put in more than uh, uh, than the 18 volts into the input power jack so this system will work on 24 or 36 volts input directly to the jack you don't have to put the uh, uh, extra batteries in series with the coil like with uh, with this 555 base driver over here okay so everything's handled on board and uh, there it is I found that uh, that uh, this circuit is pretty versatile the frequency and duty cycle are, are controllable quite easily with those potentiometers right there those very little trim pots so let's see how it works turn it on and then push the push button Pretty good, I think. That arc is spreading out nicely at the top, and the MOSFET on its heatsink runs uh, fairly cool. For after long periods of time running with 24 volts input, it start does heatsink starts getting warm, but it's nowhere near stressing that MOSFET. Um, and uh, there you have it.
CD4093 base. Ignition coil driver.